Let's move on to the Bucks getting 10 and a half, 11 ish points against Detroit basketball. A lot of my fellow Pistons fans are rattled. A lot of my Pistons fans, they are shaking in their boots, but there's nothing to worry about. This is a masterful tank job by Troy Weaver. And, you know, I think Jeremy Grant is actually going to play himself into a trade ship as he hits the third year of that contract and yield some picks. I think you're going to see probably a lot of Derrick Rose usage moving forward. They're going to be showcasing him. Uh, Blake Griffin has struggled to start the year. So, you know, maybe this is a game where you look at that Blake over under and just in this matchup, um, the Pistons, they are really taking a hard line with rookie Seiko Dumbaya. He is a young Frenchman, 19 years old. He really had a nice run in the Pistons rotation second half of last season before the bubble shut down. And it was very exciting for Pistons fans, especially with Killian Hayes drafted. You got the whole young French team or buy-in baguettes. You know, the, 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 the trois pistons, uh, they joue all basket. Uh, Killian Hayes, our point guard, uh, Seiko Dumbaya, he's a small forward, but uh, Seiko hasn't shown up for the season quite yet. And that's disappointing because, sure, maybe the guys in front of him, uh, Jeremy Grant, who's been awesome, Josh Jackson, who's been awesome, and it's also like a great reclamation project because Josh, J- Josh Jackson, he was picked fourth overall by the Suns. He kind of bounced around the league, forgettable stints, but now he's back in Detroit. Detroit is maximizing him, which I love as a Pistons fan because he witnessed the malice of the palace live. I mean, isn't that a superhero origin story? Yeah, I think it is. Um, I will say I do need to justify why I am saying I am a Pistons fan when I'm wearing a Nets jersey. Here's the deal. I was a net season ticket holder for many years. They were on my way home from work. They gave me tickets. To, they, they rigged every contest for me. I like them. And given the state of Detroit sports, you know, the Lions are terrible. The Pistons are rebuilding. The Tigers are rebuilding. The NHL has rigged everything against the Detroit Red Wings. And the fact that I go to the University of Michigan and I went, also went to USC, which is a relevant plane in the Pac-12, you know, I'm going to pick a couple winners. Kevin Durant playing two miles away. He's there. And also um, people in Jacksonville, they gave me a sandwich when I did a Jacksonville Jaguars podcast there and they showed out. So I'll be rooting for Trevor Lawrence. Okay. But back to this game. Um, when on Monday night, I liked the Bucks against the Magic for kind of a revenge factor. And that was sort of because of, you know, Markel Fultz is out and Drew Holiday is going to be up against Cole Anthony, who's not really an experienced starting point guard. And that bet came through. You are sharing the Detroit Pistons Twitter feed right now. Um, That is some nice gear. Let's suit up. But in this situation with Killian Hayes out, the Pistons still aren't comfortable um, giving Derrick Rose starters minutes, given that he is probably their best trade ship at his contract figure. So, what they're doing is they're sliding over DeLon Wright, who is GM Troy Weaver's favorite player, but he's not a point guard. And you're going to have one of the NBA's best defensive point guards on him. I do not like that for Detroit. And we know that the Bucks love to give out an ass kicking. They've played Detroit three times in 10 days. And just look at the numbers. The Bucks are number one in offense, number six in pace. The Pistons are 28th and 22nd, respectively. 